Hi. Hello. Um, do you, um, perhaps maybe, like, notice anything different? And if not, I should probably ask back for my 500 euros. <laughs> because I got a new camera! After six years of having my Sony Alpha 5000, it was time to get a new one. Especially with my birthday on April 14th, I have a new camera and I'm, like, so, so happy. But let's get into my TBR for the magical Readathon 2020 edition. <laughs> Okay, so I actually already recorded this video with my old camera, but then I was like, no, I need to try my new camera. I have the Canon, Canon, oh my god, how to say this word in English. I have the Canon G7X Mark II, the typical vlogger's camera. I'm just beyond excited for my quality to be like, you know, more up there instead of just a little, huh? The quality of my Alpha 5000 was just not great. I'm also just very aware of how my blemishes are more visible right now with this camera, so... <laughs> But today I will show you guys my TBR for the magical readathon, the Owls readathon. I have never participated in this readathon. I saw that a lot of people, especially also people that I know here on BookTube, were participating in this month long readathon, which is already a big, big plus for me. I am a very slow reader, so a month long readathon seems perfect to me. And this is a magical readathon created around the idea of Harry Potter. So the students at Hogwarts have to take the newts and the owls, which are their exams. So the book roast, I don't know her real name. I'm really sorry. I only know her channel name. I think it's Jean, but I'm not too sure. And book roast is hosting this wonderful readathon. The amount of effort that let alone has been put into the design of this whole readathon is just absolutely amazing. So how this readathon works, what I could get from it, so if I am making any mistakes, correct me in the comments, that you have to take certain classes, you have to make certain exams for the owls based on which magical career that you want to choose. So my TBR could either fit for graphic designer or for trader of magical tomes. And the first time that I recorded this video, I chose for graphic designer, but I'm actually changing my profession, my career, to trader of magical tomes, because that is something that's not possible in the real world world like graphic designer so I'm changing it it still has the same prompt so I have the same TBR let's get into the books because this is a really long intro <laughs> for the trader of magical tomes career you have to get the owls in ancient ruins charms history of magic and transfiguration I'm not going to focus on the newts regarding this career because that is for another readathon in the future ancient ruins what it says heart ruin there needs to be a heart on the cover or in the top title and um for this one I, this is a little bit of a stretch but um I, I think it counts no matter what and that is crooked kingdom by lee bardugo if you have seen my 24 hour readathon vlog you know that i'm currently reading six of crows i'm hoping to finish it today i'm loving it so far but i have the collector's edition here of crooked kingdom which first of all is just so stunning i will put a zoom in here of the cover and i mean there is a heart in the cart. Also on the spine, there's a really, really tiny one. So I am counting that for a having a heart on the cover. I just really want to read Crooked Kingdom. I'm so bad at continuing and finishing series. Fortunately, this is a duology. And if I read this one, which I really, really want to, then I've caught up with this duology as well. And I'm very late to the party regarding Six of Crows. I mean, everyone is talking about it. Everyone loves it. And I think I'm becoming one of those people as well. So yeah, Crooked Kingdom with the teeny tiny hearts for this prompt, but can you blame me? I mean, I just really want to read this book. <laughs> Next up, we have the prompt of Charms, which says Lumos Maxima chose a book with a white cover. For this one, I'm gonna read Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is a YA murder mystery novel, and all that I know is not that much, but that there is also a podcast involved in this story. I've also heard so many people say that the audiobook for this one is really amazing as well. I know that you can also find the podcast bits on Spotify, I believe. Someone told me that on Instagram. And I'm also going to do a buddy read for this book. I already have someone who joined me on Instagram. So if you want to read this book along with me, follow me on Instagram. Let me know in my DMs. I want to read more YA thrillers slash mystery murder novels murder mystery mr murdery <laughs> this one is perfect plus i'm also doing a challenge for myself and this book counts for that as well so yes the third prompt is history of magic and it says witch hunts choose a book featuring witches slash wizards well would this be a magical harry potter inspired readathon if i didn't choose a harry potter book 
for History of Magic. <laughs> I'm gonna read Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition for this prom. I didn't get to this one during my 24 hour readathon, so I'm just putting this over to the next readathon, and I'm also gonna do a buddy read for this one with someone else on Instagram. I have already started this book, so I don't know if this really counts for the readathon. I'm gonna count it. I'm really sorry if I am crossing the lines of the rules because of that. I just wanna read this book, and it counts for History of Magic. And then the last prompt, which I think is the most difficult one of them all, maybe, and that is Transfiguration. Animagus, Animagus Lecture? Don't know how to say that word in English. Choose a book slash series that includes shape-shifting. Fortunately, there is this list where people can recommend certain books regarding different prompts, hence why I know that A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kammer counts for Transfiguration. I got this book one and a half years ago, almost, in my Fairy Loot subscription box, and it is just a beaut. This is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, a fantasy story. That is all I know, and that is all that I need to know. I've heard quite good things about this one. Plus, this is also a duology, and I think that duologies are my type of series because it's just, it's not a lot of books, but you did commit to a series, kind of. Planning to read this one because I've had it on my shelf for over a year, and I was so excited when this book came out. Plus the sequel is also out and that is always great because then if I really like this one, I can continue on with book number two immediately. So yeah, these are the four books on my magical readathon, my Owl's readathon TBR. I'm so excited. I don't know if I will be able to finish all of these books and then especially do more trainings after that, but if I want to, that is an option. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you are participating in this readathon as well. I am beyond excited. Also, so let me know what you think of my new camera and if you think the quality is better. I just, I'm so excited to film more videos right now. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys can also follow me on all of my other social media pages. So because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, plus an email address. A link to those will also be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.